How's it going guys? My name is Graham and this is the brand new game Knock Harder which I just received a, a copy of and immediately thought that I had to give this a try. It just seemed too damn interesting to pass up. I don't think I've ever really seen anything like it before. The game is due out April 27th so you can go wishlist it now. It isn't quite out yet. Ooh, even in the menu we're getting some like weird spooky weird details. Basically, this is like Inception, the game. But you don't know whether or not you're dreaming. You're like the victim of Inception rather than anyone executing it. The beginning of the 21st century. A new type of creature appeared. People called them parasites. Not overly creative. The parasites attacked victims and drove them unconscious. A small number of those who were attacked were able to wake up. But all of them immediately killed themselves. The majority became the infected, or carriers, of parasites. Partly functioning lighting, it is suspicious. So, the general idea here is that I don't know whether or not I'm asleep. I have to move through the world, survive for the allotted amount of time, or determine if I'm awake or asleep. If I'm asleep, then I have to kill myself in order to wake up. If I am already awake, then killing myself will just kill me. If I'm dreaming and I let the timer run out, then you also die. So, there's a lot of things to consider. It seems very difficult. The goal is to navigate dreams and reality to the point you eventually reach the end and, like, are finally fully awakened to reality. It can attract parasites and infected. Alright, I'm gonna check the house. Wait here. Let's synchronize our watches? My watch glitches again. Shows 999 o'clock. Why do you even mess with them? Well, I'm, I'm just trying to do my best to, to keep apprised of the situation. The door is locked. Cannot find the keyhole. How then can it be opened? I, I must be asleep. Look how incredible that hair is. You're not going to achieve that unless you're dreaming. I, what, what, what can I get away with? Alright, here's an actual door. I am scared to actually try and shoot anything, inspect all rooms of the house, so this is why the house has got electricity. We, we have a generator going on here. Oh, I'm permanently revealing things. It's not like a fog of war that closes back in. The wall's been breached, Victor. Come here, it's urgent. We got some parasites making their way in, and we'll be safer this way. Kerr, no one is getting past that. Her is like a fraction of a name, <laughs> but be careful anyway. These creatures seem to appear through the walls. Hint: inspect all rooms. We've already we're already well aware of this particular hint. Oh, look at that macho man blasting his flamethrower around. Real cool dude. A real role model for an action hero like myself. Apparently, I don't get to crawl through that actual hole in the wall. I will say there's a little bit of jank to the art. There is some intentionally mismatched styles, but some of it is just kind of like, it makes me think, you know, the artist was getting better as they were working through designing the different elements of the game. So there's like quite a bit that looks like it doesn't quite match up. Oh God, there's like a body under this map. How do, how do I inspect something like that? I feel like that doesn't prove I'm asleep or dreaming. But it's something I feel like just warrants a closer look. I don't know what that animal is. A wolf? I can't tell if it's real or some sort of mythical beast or something that I need to be, like, keeping an eye out for. And not, like, Rhett and Link. <laughs> it's just the real kind of beast. The real fake kind of beast. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. The, the puzzling of this game is just mind-bending. There's too many considerations to be made of real and fake. It will, it'll be impossible to keep all of it straight. So far, I'm not seeing anything that's like, oh yes, 10,000%. This is a dream. I don't know, a hovering chair? Or like, a, just a dinosaur walking around or something? Like, I don't know entirely what that might look like or be. A hole in the wall. Jackie! Come up here, quickly. <laughs> really spreading the group. I don't think that's always the best idea, you know? Well, at least this is some sort of protection. The open hole in the wall is protecting you? 
That seems like the opposite of what it's probably doing. Be more careful, Kerr. This breach is under control. But you know how the parasites and infected appear from underground. Oh, you're you're covering things. You're looking after it. We got a weird gecko stuffed animal or something there, but I don't think that's anything to worry about. Is this some sort of like PlayStation Nintendo mashup that's not even a real thing? Press fire. I'm gonna try and shoot it. <laughs> it's not a real thing. Not not able to. It seems the door is locked. I feel like I've explored most doors. That's not supposed to be... I read a thing saying that the uh, creator of this game... Oh, what did I just reveal? Was inspired by Inception and uh, Doctor Who. It might have been a specific Doctor Who episode, but I think that was supposed to be the angel from the Blink episode, which is definitely the best Doctor Who that I've ever seen. I haven't seen all of them. Well, I checked everywhere. I could get in. I, I checked everywhere I could get in. <laughs> I think it's time to search for supplies in the house. So now now I'm, I'm getting like a little bit of a tutorial, I guess, of like looking around for things. Oh, shoot it. Do something. I, I guess I couldn't. Ah, here's where we're starting to get the blending of art styles. I was attacked by a parasite. Am I dead? The watch has zero o'clock. That seems reasonable. <laughs> I must talk to Jackie and Victor, talk to a character with the mouse button. So I'm going to go ahead and guess I'm currently dreaming. <laughs> you know, that seems a little more obvious than usual. Need to find a key again. The, the generator. Okay, so the layout of everything is the same as before. So I can just walk to where I know they'll be. Victor? Victor? And who the fuck is this? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's not reality. This is not a, a real thing. It's a leprechaun? What is happening here? Am I dead? Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> this means almost. You are kind of dreaming, but you may die soon. Have you found my gold? I'm gonna try and do an accent. I'll embarrass myself. Gold. What nonsense is that? Oh, okay then, Kerr. Let's do it like this. You got attacked by a parasite, and now you're in a deep dream, and the parasite is slowly capturing your brain. He's already blocked the access to certain memory areas with valuable information, and I am an echo of this memory. Is it more clear now? This means... Am I dreaming? How can I wake up? This is the only way out. You must die, Kerr. Think for yourself. You cannot be dead in your dreams, so put a gun to your temple and boom. Uh, I can't do that. All right, this is bad. Then let someone kill you. Listen, let me bring many parasites and infected here. So now all of a sudden this guy's going to start swarming me with enemies to try and kill me. I want to try and make it over to my, my other like partner here and see if I can consult with them. See if they can convince me whether or not this is reality. I've largely convinced myself, <laughs> based on the way that things are. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot. Whoops. Oh, she's not even here anyways, is she? Oh, the way that things are, like, scanning back and forth like that is pretty cool. I can just put the gun to my temple and shoot. <sighs> oh, God, the parasites are coming. I'm, I'm, I'm ending it all before they can get me and put me into further layered deep sleeps. Is it real? Oh god, okay, now, now, now all of a sudden I do have to worry about actual, like, infected things coming. I thought I'd be able to kill that hell of a lot sooner. Damn, I do not have a lot of ammo to be messing around with that sort of stuff. I'm trying to click out of menus and I keep shooting. Have I woken up? See, now, now is where we have to start keeping an eye out, I think, for, for hints of unreality. Nothing in the nightstand. Oh, I like this, too, now that there's kind of, like... The survival element of, like, scavenging for things. Oh, crap. I want to try and keep my distance. And You can try to repair the electrical panel. I, I also, like, want to conserve my ammo. I, like, need the ammo. Oh, I'm supposed to be doing, like, little quick time events there. Done. Uh, I want to conserve my ammo, but I also want to, like, shoot things when they're coming at me there. I don't want to remain totally vulnerable. Light's still on. Vectoral 
electrical panel is working fine, so I can I can start inspecting things too. TV is on, of course. There's no channels broadcasting, but it slightly lights the room at least. Uh, so that's where the lights were coming from before. It's not a matter of discovering parts of the map. The lights are on. Yeah, there's there's hallway lights and everything. I'm just not used to seeing that in a lot of like 2D games with this sort of art style that have actual lighting. Oh wait, the, it buckled from the vibrations. Okay, so that's not something I can immediately access. A statue of an angel. That's totally meant to be the blank angel, which is really cool. Uh, this is strange. So I'm going to go ahead and assume that I am sleeping and I'm dreaming again. I must kill myself. <laughs> I, I don't know if that thing killed me. I tried to put a gun to my head and, and take myself down like myself killed me, you know. A Ray, that might be like a Irish thing. I have no idea. Have you found my gold? No. Ah, so it was just a dream. It means the previous dream was a dream inside a dream. It looks like it. Yes. Hmm. This is all much more complicated than I thought. So this dream inside a dream could be inside of another dream. I am lost. And how many more of these dreams will there be? And what if it would be the reality already? I might kill myself for real. Kerr, I'm just a part of your consciousness that's trying to help you. But right now, it is you who must decide whether or not it is a dream or the reality. I feel like I'm not really deciding that so much as just desperately guessing. Oh, I'm actually on a timer here. Prologue complete, no more tips. If you think the world is real, survive. If you think it's a dream, die. Before the time runs out, enjoy and die. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay, that animation looked quite good, actually. I'll, I'll stop being so rough on, like, the varying art styles and stuff. Now that... Oh, crap. Now that I'm starting to get just the tiniest bit more, like, familiar with things... Like, that looks pretty smooth. It's kind of quite complicated of an art style to try and achieve, like, really, really detailed animation. And I think they're doing quite well. Little candle in the eyeglasses. I'm not sure exactly what to make of that or what to do about it. The, the news is on. Okay, urgent, urgent breaking news. We have got new members. Kerr, we warmly welcome you and wish you to lose your mind faster. If you can hear us, attempt nothing. Just stand still and wait a little while. I, I feel like I should still scavenge around and try and find, like, ammo, but I don't know if it'll matter. Like, will all this just reset anyways? The fact that we have these infected things running the news channel, that shit's not real at all. Definitely killing myself on that one. Let's do another one. To wake up, I must die if I see something strange and I conclude that I'm inside a dream. Yep. However, if I conclude that it's the reality already, then I must survive. That's right. But if it's still a dream, and I spend too long inside of it, then the parasite will kill me. Oh, it's so the parasite that's making you sleep is why you die when the timer runs out. Hey, Raker, you should know it better than me anyway. <laughs> oh my god. 11. I don't know what that 11 is supposed to mean. Oh, I'm like respawning in the same house every time? That's a little bit nuts, isn't it? I don't know if nuts is the right word. I don't think spending the time scavenging is overly important because uh, it, it, didn't, it didn't seem like that ammo and stuff that I discovered carried forward. So as soon as I feel like I have uh, conclusive information to go off of, I should end things. TV is still off, as one would expect. What's this on the table here, actually? Andrew hung a portrait of our president in the main corridor. They constantly show him on TV and in newspapers. And now he is here, Elizabeth. A little bit of lore we're learning as we move along, too. Don't quite know what it means. Bolts for a handgun, a pack of some homeopathic drugs. It's completely useless. Wow, really, really taking a, a stab at homeopathy there. <laughs> it's just like such a random thing. I don't know, regular character trait, but it's, it's funny to just take a shot at it like that. That's such a squelchy sound when you shoot. And it's also weird because you don't really have bullet sounds. Oh, this is just like a closet. Because it, it definitely doesn't lead into another room over there. Can't open that either. This might just be reality. The game's been messing with me enough with, like, the different... Oh, it's it's a dream, it's a dream, it's a dream. So for, for once, this time it might actually just be reality. Quick reload. Put him down. 
This is... I'm not a fan of the number of things that are suddenly coming. At least I know how many it takes to, to end one of these. Lamp is broken. Nothing to replace. The curtains boarded up. That's normal. You would expect that if things were getting a little out of control. Regular looking people at a regular looking campfire. I'm thinking I'm in reality. ID, the owner is named Elizabeth Shuckhart. So we're kind of learning about whose house this is or where we are. And there was something about hanging the portrait in the hallway. I guess the portrait could be gone. You know, I, I sh there, this is it. That's probably the portrait I'm talking about. That seemed like too complicated of a potential hint of it being a dream. That just... I, it, I shouldn't be reading into, like, ooh, is there or isn't there a portrait? That doesn't, like, conclude what is or isn't reality. I see another one of these infested things coming, and I'm just going to let time run out because I think it's reality. Hey, Raker, have you found my gold? Oh, it seems to me you have not realized that this is just a dream. What was my hint? What was I supposed to have caught? You know, I'm quite surprised that your little gun even quacked a little as well. Oh, I even commented on the stupid sounding sound effect, the gun quacking. I just thought that was like, oh, they didn't put a lot of effort into like the, the sound effect of it squishing against these gross infected zombie creatures. I can't believe now that that didn't clue me in. That's cool. That's cool that it's visual or audible, that there's like a lot of different things. So, oh, oh, oh I have no choice but to die together with you now, but I don't want to. You've been inside a dream for too long. The parasite consumed you. You must learn to differentiate between the dream and reality. You didn't get what's the point of the game? Click here. No, no, no. I don't, I don't need to re-go through the prologue or anything like that. I get it. It makes sense. Ugh. Oh, interesting. 12, 11, 112. I think I saw that there's over 200 identifying distinguishing things to make dreams in reality and so it might be feeding to me feeding them to me in a random order and those are the specific like rooms that i got that's really interesting that you can like track things in that way i'll try i'll try once more i was trying to debate but i'm quite interested all of a sudden some regular die regular playing cards i don't know if you're a reliable enough narrator to be making the judgment of what is or isn't normal you know so that's that's a gun sound effect. That's how guns are supposed to sound. There's a tree in the middle of the room. <laughs> that, that's just not real. At least you can start to familiarize yourself with the different with the room layout and have that be like repeating and stuff as well. Oh, the different things that scan are revealing to you the different things that can change, which is like specifically the bear head. Let's do another one. To wake up, I must die. If I see something strange, conclude I'm in a dream. Yep. However, reality survived. That's right. Okay, we're, we're going through that same opening. So that was the fifth. The fifth possible room. Or this. This might be number five. It's one of the two. I uh, don't know just yet. There's... Okay, there's always, always someone coming out of that room. Sounds, sounds like normal sound effects to me. Tommy, I do, do not swear I've lost my dove-shaped brooch. I'm so upset about it because it is an, an, it is an exclusive. It is impossible to find another one. Katrin, I, I'm, I'm like trying to read things overly quickly because I'm a little bit nervous about things coming to kill me. And so I'm, I'm just trying to like fly through it. And that's has not been overly conducive to articulating and, and, and comprehending things adequately i don't even know if spending the time fixing that is all that important it seems like that was just for the sake of the tutorial because like oh yeah i should i should be harvesting from this thing uh painkiller nice okay uh that i have med kit options that hasn't come up before but like repairing that one panel is totally useless because all it does is reveal the tiniest little corner to me all right i gotta try and put this thing down more quickly reload faster all right there we go bullets so many bullets just pulling them right out of there and popping them straight back into the gun things are kind of caged up but not in a way that seems unrealistic like they were boarded up last time 
I, I don't understand. Oh, I should be looking in like mirrors and stuff. That would be a good place to hide something. That picture looks quite normal. Like I can't, let me get closer. Is those, are those blinds or is it like locked up? The board, it's different than the time it was boarded up, but does different necessarily mean not real? It's a, there's like a lot to be questioned there. And I'm a little unsure. The, the time it was boarded up, quacking was the thing that was different. So I think I need to risk it. Yes, maybe? Was that... Uh, that was good. Okay, okay, I made it through. My watch got a timer. It uh, counts time till zero. What does it mean? English is a little broken. It's fine. It, I can understand well enough. Hmm, I don't know. I'm just part of your consciousness. Perhaps another unconquered part is trying to let you know how much time you have to remain until it kills you off completely. Or perhaps your watch glitches as always. Oh, or maybe at the end of the timer, you'll be delivered a cake. Hooray! It would be nice. Got a little bit of like a, the cake is a lie situation. 116. Eventually, I imagine, as I make it deeper into things, it'll start granting me access to, like, more of the house. Because right now, it's just, like, a couple of rooms, right? All right, we have, we know the news channel thing is fake. Immediately. I think that I feel worse and worse with every awakening. Hey, Ray, perhaps the fact that somebody's constantly biting off your brains has something to do with it. I don't think... Do I get more time by figuring it out quickly? Like, does that accumulate in some way? That would be great. Uh, don't know if that's the case at all. I should probably reload and try and stay ready for anything. An embossed pen, parasite, and cur. Rise and shine. Does that mean that the pen is telling me to rise and shine? This note changes, which is interesting. I uh, hang the portrait of my late brother in the central corridor. I don't want to forget his face. Tommy did not mind. It would have been foolish of him to object. It's the same face as before. I, again, I don't think that's particularly important, like, whose face it is. Maybe one time it'll be, like, a monster. And then in that case, you're, like, you would know for certain. I think the pen is telling me to kill myself. All right, all right, all right. I, I, have, I have the tiniest bit of time. Well, I have quite a bit of time, <laughs> but I have enough that I think I should inspect some of these other rooms and things just to try and be the tiniest bit more certain. Maybe there'll be something a little bit more overt that's like, oh, undeniable. Okay, that's boarded up again. That's like good to learn. A lighter, you can light candles with it, and I don't really have anything else to go off of. As far as I'm personally aware. Like, maybe I'm missing something. I think that pen was telling me to end it. Okay. Now I understand. Every survivor of the parasite attack committed suicide. And everybody was wondering why. You just never know whether or not you're fully awake. Very cool concept. Uh, yeah. And the most bitter thing. There was no one nearby to tell them that it was not a dream. Although perhaps they were told the same in the dream. Number 203, confirmation that there's more than 200, which is nuts. There's a cool, like, Groundhog Day, like, uh, Edge of Tomorrow thing going on here, where you, every time you wake up next to the the parasite that dropped off, there's, well, there's our confirmation with the bear head. <laughs> it just has a man's head. Oh, I wonder if the portrait out there would have been a bear. Like, if they, maybe they swapped places. What is the gold you're constantly talking about? You're just a product of imagination. Why do you need gold? Hey, Ray, why can't an imaginary leprechaun look for an imaginary gold? Kerr, I think it all makes sense. I'm part of you, and you are extremely consistent. 706. All right, I don't know if there's 700 different varieties. The, the numbering might be random or something. An elephant? A real living Indian elephant. It seems that he climbed in here to hide from mice. All right, putting an end to that. That one was one of the easier ones. I'm in a panic. This time I got lucky, but the dreams are so much like reality. Hey, Ray, cheer up. These dreams are created by the parasite who's digging in your brains. It's also an alive creature. It can't foresee everything. It must make a mistake somewhere. I mean, it shoved a tiny elephant inside of a drawer. 
I, like, you could have put nothing in the drawer, and that would have been so much closer to reality. It's quite the, quite the slip-up, if you ask me. Did the bullet just do a weird thing? Did the bullet kind of hover? Like the shell casing or something? Am I crazy? Look at that. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm asleep. <laughs> I'm getting the hang of things. Have you used, uh, have you got a useful piece of advice for me? Sure. Do not eat after 6 p.m. or you will get fat. Then it will be harder for you to flee from the infected. We've got a couple in a row there that were like, I literally only had to go to the, the first or second room. They, they were dishing out their info nice and quickly. Hmm, the first time there's never been an inf infected in this room, actually. A candle. I don't have anything to light it with. That might just be the first time I noticed there was a candle. Harry did not mind. Seemed foolish. I don't know what's with the randomization of that note. I don't really know what to make of that. That guy looked slightly different than normal, didn't it? Or am I being nuts? Am I looking for totally the wrong things? Battery for the flashlight? Uh, I don't know if I actually have a flashlight. I need to find another one of those infecteds to get another another look. Ah, uh, no, they still like look like people. They well, they look like zombies rather than looking like what has been the effect infected up until this point, where there's like the weird eyeball thing. It makes me the tiniest bit nervous. A lighter, a flashlight. I actually have the flashlight for once. And more bullets. What's going on in the mirror there? Seemingly nothing major. Oh, using the flashlight's kind of neat. I don't really know how long it'll last. I guess I, I guess I just keep an eye on the left-hand side there and see how many batteries I end up burning through. The fact that these infecteds, like, don't have the parasite hugging their face or whatever it is that's been going on in other times. I don't know. Is there a key somewhere that I can actually find? Presumably, eventually, there will be. Did I find a lighter? I did. All right, so I can light the candle. Can I light the fireplace? I'm, I don't know. Let's, let's repair it. Just for something. Something to do. Something to occupy my time with. I wasn't looking. Missed the R. It's a very stressful little mini- It's an effective little mini game. Not necessarily stressful, but if you, like, aren't really thinking about it and you do slip up like that, that is quite a bit of, like, lost time for you while everything is so panicky. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the way they look. Okay, is that it? Was that the important part? What the shit is this? Oh, they all turned into weird little zombie cartoons. This is my timer. It gets slightly longer after each dream. Hmm, seems to me that the less time you spend inside the dream, the more increases the timer. Oh, okay, so that was what I was wondering before. Well, this seems like uh, the most obvious dream yet. I'm kind of tempted to wander around just for a minute to see what's up. I have 500 bullets. <laughs> is there, uh, is this like a boss or something? Should I be trying to, to kill all these things? Should I be letting them uh, get me? Oh yeah, look at those guys. The, they, they, they have the parasite like hugging their face. That was totally the distinguishing thing. None of them don't have that. It's not like uh, a variety thing. Some do, some don't. Wait, I mean, it's a giant open room. I have a shitload of bullets. But is anything else unrealistic? This might literally just be the first actual, like, survival trial. Like, the game might want me to actually try and live through this. Oh, I also just got, a sh like, a shotgun. So, of course, I'm going to mess around with that for a bit. Now, I wasted all the ammo of that very quickly <laughs> oh shit it actually got me okay they they do they leap from further away than i thought <laughs> i'll have to actually try and use some of this medicine and then i should probably like try and commit a bit more time to raiding corpses for medicine but the like more and more things are like piling up against me here wait a second i used the painkiller and i think it made my 
health drop. Oh, crap. crap another one got me. Uh, I might be... Oh, okay, no, 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 no. The red, the red filling up is bad. You don't want that. That thing face hugged me for a minute and it filled back up again. Oh god, they're coming at me from all angles. Nice dodge, evasive maneuvers. I feel like I gotta try and kill the... Oh, I killed that one in midair. I gotta try and kill the leapers first. Shrug it off. Don't go to sleep. Stay alive. You got no, no additional medicine and like no time to root around in these corpses. Is this stupid? Was it stupid to think that this might be like some version of reality? God damn it, I didn't have time again. It's too many, too many of these things coming at me at once. At this point, at this point I should be fine though. Like, was that dumb? This giant warehouse seems so clearly dreamlike. Kerr, have you found my gold? Oh, it seems to me you have not realized that it's just a dream. I mean, okay, it wasn't in the house. I guess not being in the house automatically means it's a dream. Didn't have to shoot things 500 times for three straight minutes. The parasite decided to break the rules. If the enemy hits were healing you, then the med kits would... Oh my god. That was the hint? I knew the health bar thing didn't make any sense. I love that this guy tells you what went wrong, like what you missed. Oh my god, that's ridiculous. The fact that it was in this giant room wasn't even a thing. <sighs> I have no choice but to die together with you now. Damn it. Damn it. Oh yeah, your path. The way it draws out what your path was is pretty cool. I got 11 both times. I knew there was... That, that was the TV station one where the parasite guy was like talking to you. Damn. Damn. Alright, that's pretty cool though. I do really dig the game's concept. I feel like they're onto something neat there. I was a little critical. Some of the art, some of the menu and UI are like a little clunky or whatever. But like overall... The concept and everything is interesting enough that, that I was really starting to get into it and really paranoid and second-guessing myself about what was and wasn't real. So that is done quite effectively, and I love the vastness of the variety of different hints and potential rule breaks and things. Like, if you... If, if that uh, healing and medkit one had happened in any other room in the regular house, I would have never seen it, because I, like, almost never took damage in the regular house, and so I never would have figured it out. So, like, that makes me think that you have to start doing things, like, if you can't find a hint, and you're still not certain, you have to, like, intentionally take damage and things like that, which is really strange and really starts to bend your thinking, but it, it starts giving you longer and longer times to mess around with that stuff. That's pretty cool. This one is coming out on April 27th. You guys can keep an eye out for that. Oh, look at that. There's an infected guy coming around the corner there, too. Now this stool's starting to dance around. There's some funny stuff going on in the menu here. Actually, I like it the longer the longer you let that play out. That's quite funny. Okay, I'll have a link to that for you guys to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.